You guessed it, guys. We're picking up right where we left off. On the last episode, we didn't give you a whole lot in the intro, right? We just said we're going to work on something and we're going to see what happens. Well, on this episode of Puglisi Speed Shop, we're going to work on something and we'll see what happens. I'm sure you guys can plainly see, even if you missed the last episode, which if you did, go back, watch it, because it's pretty good, I think, you know? But, uh, yeah, finally got this guy all on primer. And that's as far as we're taking the body work. Like I said, we got it looking good, looking clean, the lines are nice. Um, but if I was going to paint this thing, this would be... Well, there'd probably be four or five thousand more steps, right? I mean, it's if you guys ever painted a vehicle and actually painted a vehicle, you understand this is a very time consuming thing. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> it's that simple. However, it looks like it looks like a whole different truck. All one color. Body work is clean, and we're going to leave it at that. And I'm digging it. Hopefully, you guys are too. Now, if you did watch the last episode, you'll realize that, uh, yeah, it's still all masked off. And that's because I wanted a challenge. I like a challenge. Obviously, that's why, that's why I even bought this thing. This thing's been a challenge from day one. So, yes, I did drive it in here, taped off. <laughs> Reason was, it was still kind of tacky. I didn't want to mess up the primer, but... Um, starting to get well it's dark out and it's starting to get a little dewy and i didn't want that to mess up the primer so that's what we did and a flawless execution guys i don't know this uh i'm not gonna say it but you know what i'm thinking right all right so what are we doing this episode well we're gonna start by taking all the tape off of this thing it's pretty satisfying right one of those kind of instant gratification type i don't know whatever we're gonna do that and then we're going to take care of some of the trim, right? We're going to, you know, paint some stuff, you know, the grill, bumper, all that little, you know, little stuff like that. And just make this thing really pop, right? And, uh, well, you know what? We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> because that's been working out for us recently. Like the last couple videos, especially with this guy, we'll give you step by step. It's been going pretty good. So we're going to leave it at that, all right? And, uh, hey, you can watch us uh, take all the stuff off of this guy now.
Well, now we got her all unwrapped, right? And uh, I gotta be honest with you, she looks better than I thought she would. It's uh, it just looks clean, right? Even with the busted wheels, <laughs> you know, it just, uh, I did notice not that, right, there's a bumper kind of, right, so, I'm put a jack into that and fix that, I guess. Of course, the windows need cleaned up. We got an idea for the wheels, don't worry about that, guys, you're going to see that here in a minute, but, uh, you've probably already seen it later in the shop, to be honest with you. But, yeah, she, uh. I knew we'd clean up. I didn't, it honestly, it's just, <laughs> I'm flabbergasted over here, right? It just actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. And uh, I'm pretty happy about that because, uh, well, I, mean, I want it to look good, right? Like, that part probably didn't need any explanation. All nice and smooth, nice even coat. Well, coats actually. You only saw the one, because the second one was just boring at that point in the game. There you go. All right, guys, I'm going to call it for tonight, because uh, I actually rolled right out of the last video into this video, and uh, I'm a little tired and hungry. I'll figure out which one I'm more of by the time I get to the house. I'll figure out if I just go to bed or uh, get some meat first. But... Uh, I'm back down here tomorrow, so got a couple things to do in the morning. Uh, we're gonna do got a VFW cleanup, got eat breakfast, got to give Jimbo a haircut, and after that, I'll be down here and uh, we'll get back to work on this guy, paint up some trim, and I'll try my hand at Plasti Dip, I think, for that bumper, and uh, we'll go from there. Like I said, baby stepping it. See you guys tomorrow. All right, so before we even start with the excuses, what do you guys think I did? You think I went and ate first? You think I went right to bed? <laughs> come on, come on. You already know I ate first. What are, you, what are you, new? Speaking of which, if you are new, make sure you go right down there and hit that little subscribe guy, all right? Uh, so, yeah, I went back and watched uh, the end of that video, that little clip I just made. I was pretty beat down. Um, yeah, I was a little tired, but I still managed to get some food in me first. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about this guy, all right? So, uh, that being said, I said wait for the excuses, right? There you go. So, it ain't the next day. You guys already know that. Um, we did the VFW cleanup. We went and got something to eat afterwards. I had some of the best Bloody Marys ever, and, well, then I did give Jimbo a haircut. I'm not saying I was a little faded when I did it, but, uh, no, it came out good. Don't worry about that. Really, Jimbo, if you're watching this, it looks great, I promise. All right? Um, and then I didn't do nothing, and it was wonderful. So you know what I did the next day? Nothing. And it was just as wonderful. And now I'm paying for it because we got to finish this guy, right? I uh, did a little daily, uh, a little d maintenance on the daily driver because you got to do that. And yeah, that brings us to now. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to paint over a little bit of trim work here. You know, like, uh, what was it? The, we'll do the grill, a uh, little things on the windows here. And yeah, we'll get all that done. And what else are we going to do? Well, we're not trying to get too far ahead of ourselves, right? But yeah, like you see like right here, this little guy right here. Yeah, that right down there, there it is, yep. Uh, that was like the terrible rubber piece that was just beat up. So I peeled it off, primed it, we'll shoot it black to match everything else. Same around the turn signals, like I said, we'll do the bumper. We're gonna try this plastic dip thing. And we'll see how it works out. And uh, what else? Oh, I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, we're not painting it, guys. This is this is the final finish for Puglisi Speed Shop on this truck. Couple reasons, and we'll we'll talk about it more later. But cost, time, motivation—that's pretty much why. And come on, right? Then it looks better than it has in probably ten years, right? So 
We're going to move on with that. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, I'm, I promise I'm going to hang it up someday. All right, so it got a little cold out and dark, so we closed the door, and that's what that looks like. But more importantly, here's the grill. Came out pretty good. We got in here before it got dark, and it dried off pretty well. So, uh, yeah, we went with the semi-gloss black Rust-Oleum because I had it. Uh, and we put this little guy together, too. So, uh, you know, we just picked that up from Harbor Freight. Probably about six months ago, we finally got it together, though, so... There's that, and it worked awesome. So 20 bucks well spent. Uh, guys, excuse the mess, this place is terrible. But, all right, back on track. I wanted to do a before and after comparison. So here's uh, showing you like, see this was all jacked up in here. That little, uh, you know, little black uh, plastic that goes over that, and it was just terrible. So I broke all of it off that I could, taped it off and primed it. And then we uh, went ahead and shot it with that same paint that we have left over. And look at that, huh, guys? It's, well, it's better than it was. That's what we're going to say. It's got a weird glare on it. But, uh, yeah, it pretty much matches the trim. And from five feet away, it looks awesome. Then we did the same over here. We uh, taped these guys off and shot that. And I jumped the gun because I already did this one. So uh, Andrew's going to have to put like a little thing in. Like, here, I'll go back over here. Hey, dude, like, seal the picture from earlier and like put it right here so we can compare it to this guy. Yeah, that guy. All right. So there you have it. All right, guys, so like I said, got a little dark and a little cold out, which means dinner time, right? Uh, Megan made some pasta, so you know this guy <laughs> got to go. But uh, I am going to be down here tomorrow because, well, I'm running out of time for this video, so I got to be, right? And as much as, you know, it kind of sucks that I didn't get this side over here done with the, uh, you know, the trim there, but... Um, I said it's getting cold. It's pretty cold here, actually, so paint's not going to cure right anyways. It's supposed to be like 60 tomorrow. So we're going to come down here, knock that out right away, and uh, then we're going to move on to that bumper and try our hand to that plastic dip, and uh, we'll move on from there. What's the next thing after that? I don't know. We'll figure it out. So stick around. It's going to be tomorrow, but, like, you know, Seconds for you guys, right? See you tomorrow. All right, so check it out, guys. I promise, all right? I don't mean a lot of you guys. It, it just happens. So it ain't the next day. You already know that, right? Every intention of coming down here and working on this truck because I want to get it done, right? So my buddy Luigi came by yesterday. We end up talking and talking and talking. That's what happens. <laughs> Two Italians, right? One from Long Island. He's from Jersey. Forget about it. We just... It's funny. Megan's sitting up in the room listening like, oh, my God, are they ever going to shut up, right? Now, next thing you know, it's 8 o'clock. He's like, oh, my God, I, I got to go. <laughs> so, well, I got to eat something. I'm not making it down here. So I didn't. So what did that do? It screwed me for today, but I love you, Lou, so great talking with you all night there. That was good. That was good. You know, you got to do that sometimes, right? So here we are, Thursday. I actually got off, like, wait, right on time. Boom, 3 o'clock out the door. Shot home, talked to Megan for, like, 30 seconds and came down to shop. 
Started working right away. See, we got, right, that's painted up. Taped that off, painted it, and, uh, well, that, then I had to shoot over to VFW because we had a meeting, right? Got that taken care of, and, uh, well, I just got back. Had a little dinner, so I'm good, right? Let's get back to work here. So we're gonna untape this. Um, and then I was saying a little bit on the windshield wipers before I left the arms, so we can repaint those. And after that, it's plastic dip time. So I'm gonna take care of this. I'll show you guys how it all came out. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so I told you guys I'd uh, unmask it, show you what it's looking like. So here you go. Side the other side, right? Cleans it up, you know. Just uh, fills in the whole frame there, right? Uh, then I started messing around a little bit over here. I cleaned up, started cleaning the windshield up and stuff. Put these guys back in. And when you start putting this all together, it just kind of, you know, before it's just all one color. So now it's, it's breaking stuff up, right? Kind of like how that being painted, you know, and then the stuff there in the hood and, you know, similar to this morning over here. Uh, what else we got here? Take you over here. Put the old uh, windshield wipe arms here. And uh, just to make everything match. There's the antenna. It's just all the little stuff, you know? Little details that even though it's just a primer job, right? It's going to look clean and it's going to kind of look finished because, I mean, all this little stuff, right? Taking these lights out here. Uh, this one uh, right there was broken and that one's about to come out. This thing rusted in the weirdest way. So here's that light I took out, right? I mean, hold on, look at this thing, right? I, I don't know. And here's, here's the best part. You see, uh, yeah, I got my favorite tool there to get this thing out. Check this out. The reason is, I don't know how you put these uh, <laughs> bolts in like this. You can't, you can't even turn them. You can't get a socket on there, nothing. So, yeah. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. So we're just going to uh, take care of it. Well, we got the lights out. So, came out no problem. Just uh, zip, zip. And there you go. Then uh, we took some sandpaper and we sanded all the rust off of the top of that bumper and just, just uh, you know, got the sheen off of it. It kind of made it nice and smooth. Pulled the turn signals out so they're going to overspray it. It's easier than taping them off. Um, and there you go. What we're going to do right now, though, is if you see right here, this bumper goes like... <whistles> so I'm going to put jack under it and try and... <whistles> see how that works out. So you see, we've lifted the vehicle up. We're going to leave it like that for a little while, so that. All right, let's see if this works.
Let it sit for like 20 minutes. Eh, might be a little better if I got it. All right, yo. Not on purpose, all right? But I kind of lied to you guys again. I said I was going to plastic dip this thing. Apparently, I'm going to flexi dip it. So, rust -oleum, flexi dip, it's the same thing. It's just rust oleum thing as opposed to plastic dip thing. Copyright and law stuff, whatever. Uh, this is graphite, and I'm going to show you in a minute why I'm using this. But again, free. So it works. Pretty much the same as spray paint from what I understand. Just like lighter coats. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. But I watched a YouTube video, so I pretty much, you know, I'm an expert now. But uh, just a bunch of light coats, and uh, it'll, um, that will be done as it's going to be, right? So, I kind of did the second coat without recording it, so you see it's a little darker. I did the same as the first coat. I'm sure, you guys can figure it out. It's looking all right. I like the old graphite color. So after I get this done, I'll show you why I'm doing this color. Because there's actually, there's actually a reason. All right, so here we, we're going to call this done for right now. It's either four, maybe five coats. I don't know. I kind of lost count. And I might be a little high, but don't worry about it. All right. So that thing looks... A million times better, right? And uh, I mean, rust ain't on it no more, it's smooth. It's just, I like it, I'm, I'm digging it. And this is why we went graphite. Can we show you guys these yet? These are wheels for it. The 17 inch Chevy wheels, which, uh, you know, I thought bolted right on. For the record, these are good. This right here, not so much. So we gotta do a little work on that and uh, you guys will see that. So the guy that I bought them from got a smoking deal and he plastic dipped these this color and gave me, oh well, I'm sorry, flexi dipped, and gave me all the leftovers. It was like three cans of this and like a bunch of cans of this clear coat. So once, once the bumpers dried off, we will, uh, you know, cure it or whatever. We'll shoot that clear coat over there, and uh, then it'll match. So you see what I'm going for here, right? You know, black with a lot of stuff, and then this matching there, and it's a whole thing. It's coming together, guys, I promise. Speaking of coming together, there's been a giant box sitting here for a while. You guys might be wondering what it is. I'm going to show you. Like I said, guys, there's been this huge box here. I'll show you what's going on.
You know how that dashboard's all beat up, right? Got a whole new dashboard here for it. Color match. So. Now I gotta figure out how to put this thing in. All right, guys. In case you forgot, this thing here is trashed, right? I mean, look at this. Just terrible. So, that other one, like it hears on over this, I gotta cut all this stuff off first. And then figure it out, because... Yeah, you see, it's, it's, it just sets right over the other one. There's some, there's a, some glue and some directions. There's the glue, there's the directions. And the reason I bought it, because, like I said, I didn't want to keep spending money on this thing, but now the door panel needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but not bad, right? I got the speaker grill. Look at the seat, right? We pointed this out before, how nice this is. Everything's so nice. The carpet, I mean, it's just dirty in here, but everything in here is nice, right? With the exception of this. So I spent $125, $135, something like that for that guy. And then everything else is good, right? So I think it's money well spent. I think it's going to make a big difference in the appearance of the truck. And uh, everything else coming out the way it is. Yeah, definitely a solid plan, I'm thinking. All right, guys, we're going we're gonna to call it right here for this episode, right? I honestly have no idea how to put that thing in. It's probably pretty simple, but I'm getting pretty tired, and I don't want to rush doing it. I don't want to screw it up, all right? So we're going to, that's what we're going to do. We're going to hold off, all right? So we got... We got the windshield wipers and all that stuff drying back there. We got uh, this guy here, right? This is all getting cured up as well. So we got all the trim painted. We got everything. We're starting to put things back on. And we're going to finish that next episode. So make sure you guys tune in. I'm going to give you a heads up right now. It ain't coming out next Friday. <laughs> all right? Uh, we got my brother coming down this weekend. We got a club party, there's a big car show, there's a bunch of stuff going on, and uh, yeah, it's just, I'm just giving you a heads up. It ain't coming out on Friday, but I'm off on Friday, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this truck up on Friday. That's the plan, all right? And then you guys can see it Saturday? Let's go Saturday morning is what I'm thinking, all right? So it's going to be late, I'm giving you the heads up, but it's going to be worth it. Because everything we've been, you know, talking about, wanting to get done, it's getting done. Like, see, I got, we got the grill over here. We got, we got everything scattered around. It's going to get back on the trucks, what we got to do. So, you're not going to want to miss it. If you followed along this time, this is a reward. I'm telling you. So, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, tell a friend. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.